Hi, this tutorial is an introduction to doors and windows. Within a new empty project, we'll first create a empty room consisting of four exterior walls. And in this example, I'm just simply snapping my walls to the grid. The window tool is located in the building tab in the construction elements group. You will see that there are in fact two entries, window construction and window. We'll use the window construction tool, which is the version based on window macros. The earlier window entry is based on window objects. This has been supplied just for compatibility with older projects. We always recommend you use the window construction tool here. However, you are able to use the window objects if you wish. After selecting the window tool, just move the cursor over a wall and you'll see that the cursor changes to a window object. The arrow indicates the opening direction of the window. This can be changed by moving the cursor closer to either the outside or the inside edge of the wall. When the window is in the position you require, just left click with the mouse. You can also use the 3D view to place windows, however it's always a lot easier to do in the 2D view. The number by the window, in this case 0.9 meters, is the sill height of the window. Normally this number is on the outside of the window, so if you see this number on the inside of the window, it's a good indication that the window is in fact inside out. You can easily rectify this by right clicking on the window and from the context menu select change direction. To change a window style, select the window and then double click it. The window construction properties dialog will then activate. In this dialog you can select the windows catalog and choose a different window type. In this dialog you can also change other details such as the window sill height, details about the windows opening and also the seal dimensions and type. We'll also now look at the other windows type based on windows objects. Right clicking on the windows tool entry will also activate a windows properties dialog. This dialog gives you access to a different windows catalog. These windows are actually based on windows objects. You are free to use either windows catalog. However, the windows in the windows construction catalog are more versatile. And these windows can also be created with the Visual Building Premium version using the Windows Construction Tool. We'll now look at doors. Doors work in almost an identical way to windows, where you can select a door from the door catalogue. change its width, its height, and also its sill height. You will see the Save as Default button in most dialogues. This means that the current properties will be saved as the default properties next time you come to use that dialogue. As with Windows, when placing a door in the wall, the opening direction arrow displays and double clicking on the door will open the door properties panel where you can change the door properties including the height and the width and sill height. And if you right click on the door from the context menu you can change the opening hinge and also the opening direction. Just prior to placing a door, if you right click, you can activate the context menu from where you can actually select constructional support. This gives you a set of tools where you can actually place the door central between two points or 
at a specific distance from a set point. To move a door or a window, just select it and then drag it to its new position. You can also use the wall cutout tool to create a cutout on the wall to create a doorway which does not contain a door object. That concludes our introduction to doors and windows. Look out for our intermediate tutorials concerning the editing of doors and windows and also the more advanced tutorial using the Visual Building Premium Version Windows Construction Tool.